So I'd like to explain suspension point a little more clearly because it's one of those things can be a little confusing. If you recall, we have our little pendulum and you have a point that never moves, which is the uh, fulcrum or suspension point, and the putter swings around that point. And if we can do it correctly, the suspension point actually controls the, the shape that the putter moves. So when I talk about suspension point, it's really an imaginary line between your shoulders or chest and your hands, which hang vertically underneath you. And I'm gonna represent that with an alignment stick by just uh, gripping the club normally, but running it up my hands, up into my, what's called your xiphoid recess, a little hole right there in your chest. Now, if I turn sideways, you can see that, that that line is a vertical line towards the center of the earth. And, but from face on, it looks like it's running up the shaft. So if I can just coordinate the movements, all the segments, my arms, my shoulders, my chest, and my wrists to work together, then the butt of the club pointing upward will always point to the same place in my sternum throughout the stroke. And of course, errors in suspension point might look something like and if I uh, broke down and released early, it might look something like that. The suspension point points back, that closes the face, that ruins completely your control over the face, the shape of your swing and where the ball goes. So if you can just imagine from face on, and a lot of times I like to check this with a face on camera when I'm taking video of myself, just to make a stroke and make sure that the butter club always points to the same place. should look something like that. Remember, it's not being tense, it's not trying to keep a triangle, it's just coordinating all the segments so they move and blend together.